There. Thank you. Get off. I like a kiss. Do it. Thanks. You smell good. Thanks. You smell like mine. You smell like mine. <coughs> good morning, still. Just barely. Take off your sunglasses. It's cloudy outside. I can't see. You can see. I can't see. You can see. I have light eyes. I have... My eyes are bigger and more open. You have like the same eyes. Okay, but take your glasses off. My I, eyes are no, bigger and hurts. more of my... No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Stop it. Take them off. Stop it. Take them off. Stop it. Put it... D really, biting. Biting is the answer. <laughs> take off your glasses. That's like the first rule you look of like a cra You look like a crazy person. I look like a crazy person. I have one nail off. I'm getting new nails on next week. Okay, now look in the camera. Your eyes, can't. you can't, oh my, stop it. Look it, your eyes are smaller. I have more surface area. My eyes area. are not smaller. They're like, just not as open as right, yours. Right, which means I have more direct light in my light eyes. I'm pretty sure you don't see out of your, what's the white part called? I'm talking about that there is more, if your eyes are more closed, that means less surface area of your iris is being shown to the world. Yes, but what's the white part called? Uh, the, not the iris, the, I don't know, the whites of your eyes. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? You don't see out of the whites of right, your eyes. Right, but I'm talking you about only, the iris. I understand. The, and the pupil. The same amount of your iris is visible in your eyes as it is in my no, eyes. No, but I, my eyes. Regardless of my eye shape. This okay, is not negotiable. It's like, look, you have more of a shade because this your eyes a, are smaller. It's not a shade. Yes, it is a shade. It's not a shade. The sclera. That's what somebody Thank said. Thank you. Thank you, Junebug. No, but like my Listen, eyes are more open. If you could, my eyes are more open. If you could, my eyes are if you more could prove open. to me that more of your iris and pupils are in direct sunlight than mine, when we both have perfect vision, I would concede. But First of all, neither of us have perfect vision. Okay, we We're, both we don't wear have contacts. We don't have. Impairments. We both wear contacts. We don't my eyes are bigger, therefore more of my eye is out it's in the not world. true. Yes, it is. Okay, more of your eye being out in the world does not mean that it's going to affect you any more or less than it does yes, me. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes. It really doesn't, you are I so promise. dumb. Ow. Ow. No, it doesn't. Stop it. Put, put your glasses Take your glasses Now off. I'm just going to be a jerk. I want to see what they look like on me, actually. I don't think I've tried these ones on. I don't think these work for me. They're not the worst. They're not the they're best. There's just so many more flattering shapes that you, you can like me and my like cat eye, yes. my big rounds from Gucci. It's Those true. are cute. Hey, Cheryl Lee, how are you doing, sweetheart? Sorry, guys, we're just arguing this morning about stupid eyes. Stupid things. Yeah, stupid things. We literally have the same color eye. Look, ready? Come closer. Show them. We literally have the same color eyes. You should see our son's eyes. Both of our our oldest and our youngest son have the most beautiful eyes. Most beautiful eyes. Oh, guys, 5,000 likes gets us in the store to show you actually how to work. We're not here just to talk about eye color. Thank you, Shirley. Yep. So just do, um, you know, we do have a small gifting goal if you guys have penny gifts to give. We end up just sending all that stuff back to you guys on uh, TikTok. I mean, um, nope. Instagram. Yep. Uh, so we do take the small gifts. We don't really need any big oh. galaxies or anything like now that. Now we're going to set up a... So now we got the 100%. Now we're going to set up a new goal for the rest of the live. We're going to do a higher goal for the next one. Let's do this. Um, we're going to do heart puffs, and we're going to do 303 of them. I don't know why you're obsessed with 303. I don't either. Um, Next time I'll do 404. But anyway, so if you don't have the penny gifts, that's fine. We take the free things. Those are just as Likes important. Likes and shares, man. The comments, the engaging with Joanna's oh, yeah. uh, stuff, the reposts. So we're going to be stuff. doing work inside of BJ's Wholesale. I have to be very specific in yes. how I word this. Wholesale clubs. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, some... What are they called? Berkeley and Jensen's. Just say that. Berkeley and Jensen's. Is that what that's? Yes. Called? Oh my God. This is like the flow rider thing all oh, over again. Oh man. All over again. Five thousand likes gets us in the store to show you guys. We have a field agent <clears throat> and probably a Moby. I'm gonna check that out first. Um, but we got some stuff to do. We're gonna make some dollars. We're gonna we're gonna show all the things. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Trey didn't know that either. Trey. We are, we're right here. Oh my God, there's a cellular store mystery shop paying $20 near us. Oh, that's wild. Is that it AT&T? Probably. If it's AT&T, that'd be really easy, 20 bucks. Yeah, hell yeah, we have AT&T. Yes, Berkeley and Jensen's is what BJ stands that. for, yes. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And now you know. But, 
we're going to be working in just a few short moments. If we can get to 5,000 likes and get the whole live started, then we'll go inside and we'll get on the Wi-Fi. We'll show the you how these projects work. Don't do these until they go up. I'm going to do it just to show you guys, but, you know, don't do them until they go up. I'm going to email them and be like, excuse me. Oh, they're only going to be here for a couple of weeks anyway. Right. So. They're, they need to go up. The 300 points is bullshit. That's what you get for Thank signing you, up and using... That's what you get for signing up and using my code P3VG in my profile. Excuse me. Uh, so we've got this Moby mission. We've got a field agent. And we'll see if there's anything on Shopkick. I don't know if there is, uh, but uh, we'll check. PJs? Perhaps. There might be once per in a while. Perhaps. Turd hats. Ger hags. For any Whose Line Is It Anyway fans out there. No. You don't like Whose Line Is It Anyway? No, that's not what it's from. Ger hags is. Turd hats is from no, Everybody Loves correct. Raymond. No, Ger Raymond. hags is oh, oh there is there's a couple there's only a couple but there's a bunch of receipts that you can get here too all right let me look i got a guy got a new total wine audit interesting interesting we actually don't have any wine audits or any alcohol audits where we live um so we don't get to do those so i've got some products coming in from uh from Frost Buddy. We're going to be doing a whole Frost Buddy live here in a couple of weeks uh some really cute stuff very very excited what we have likes Oh, okay. Give me two seconds to hit this. Stop it. Stop it. Beautiful. Excuse me. All right. So welcome in here, everybody. My name's Joanna. This is my husband, AJ. We teach people how to make money, save money, and get cash back for free from their phones. No course, no book, no affiliate marketing, network marketing, or pyramid schemes. Nothing to buy and nothing to sell. Every single thing you need is in my profile. Three pin videos, a side hustle playlist, and a list of all the apps and websites that we use on a daily basis. Um, first way that we make money is merchandising. Merchandising is the act of going into stores and checking on products for big companies. Uh, these take anywhere from five to 25 minutes and pay anywhere from five to $25 per job. Super easy. And that's what we're going to do today with the two apps that we have Moby and field agent um, then the next way that we make money is hi Stacy is by um, downloading apps and services and playing games and that's cash kick swag bucks inbox dollars tester up and free cash for Android and iOS Android gets two more which are misplay and rewarded play last but not least we have two dedicated survey apps that we absolutely love because surveys can be a pain but survey junkie and Ipsos I say are two of the greatest that we have um, everything is in my profile. You'll find uh, cash back, savings, all kinds of stuff there. Uh, let's keep those likes going, guys. We really want to get this uh, live on the For You page. So if you guys could like, share, um, get the gifts going, that would be absolutely fabulous. We do give those gifts back to you guys on Insta, so make sure you're following me there. None of this works in any other country besides the United States and Canada, except for a few things, but that's pretty much it. Okay. And we got to get on the Wi-Fi when we go in. Okay. Okay. So we do this stuff every day. So if you just, you know, where are you going? I'm going around, but I'm walking the floor. Uh, so you can always come back and ask questions. Uh, all these apps that we talk about are free to use. We don't charge for any of these in a book or a course because they're just free apps that you can find on the profile, but they're all available. Link in the bio, or you can go to joannalinofficial.com. Um, so Amy, uh, for a mid-size audit, I would say your average mid-size audit on merchandisers because it's supposed to take you somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes max, you will absolutely get there the more you do. I wouldn't stress too much about how long it's taking you in the beginning because it just gets easier. So hold on, I'm gonna get on the Wi-Fi. We're gonna start doing some projects inside of me. I wouldn't stress too much about how long it's taking you in the beginning because it just gets easier. So hold on, I'm gonna get on the Wi-Fi. We're gonna start doing some projects inside of BJ. Right as you walk in, look around for Halloween displays at that. Um, oh, look for Halloween, any Halloween displays. Yes, any there Halloween are. displays. So take a wide angle photo. I'm going to go with this one because it has the most. Mm -hmm. It's a wide angle display so that's how the picture of all the looks. Halloween displays. It's a straight on photo of your favorite Halloween display. I should have done that. All those are Halloween. Watch out. Let me try it. Okay, and now why is this your favorite display? It has the most stuff. Halloween goodies. Yep. So this is the Moby app, which we did not mention. What, did, what brand did you notice first? Uh, Mars. Okay. 
So these are just small projects that you can do inside of stores. We happen to be in BJ's Wholesale Club. Wow. Right, and you were complaining about $3. Okay, so never mind. That one's an easier one. <laughs> Absolutely. I did. If I had any issues with that mission, I could put it here. But no, I made $3 in that like minute and a half of work. Now we're going to we're gonna do another job on field agent. Can I have your phone because it's on uh -huh. yours? But check it out. Yeah. $3.25. So the short answer is no, you do not need to have a membership to do these. Uh, it's just going to depend on the location. Some places are going to be more strict about not letting people in at the door if they don't have uh, membership. But uh, this one, we didn't even have to show our membership. We do happen to have memberships. That's like, you know, we, right. we do have those. Why did you, you open it to my TikTok? I, that's, I already had it open. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open Field Agent. Um, so that one was Spooktober, I think. Yep. Spooktober something. Now this is the Shelf Gram Stable Juice and Water. Right. So this gives you instructions. This you can read all that. Agent. Yep. So all of the... you got to slow down. <laughs> so... Every project that we do comes with pictures, diagrams, and instructions, and it tells us what we need to do step by step. So your main job as a merchandiser is to come inside stores like this and do work at small projects, supply data and information for these companies, and then they pay you by the job. Is the location open? Yes. Yes, it is. Now we're going to go to the Shelf Stable Juice. Okay. So shelf Stable Juice. <sighs> How you doing? All set, thank you. All set, thanks. Whatever. Yeah, spooktacular, spooktober, something like that. It has the word spook in it. Literally. Spook. Yes. Literally. Was yes, so there are three merchandising apps that we use to do this. Survey Merchandiser, Field Agent, and Moby. You can grab them all from the profile. Click the link in the bio. These are apps that you can find small projects to do inside of stores near you. We happen to be in BJ's today. We do a lot of work at Target and Walmart. Whatever your regional grocery chains you have in the part, your part of the country, we do a lot of work in there too. Gas stations, pharmacies, you name it, we do it. And we show you guys live all the time how this stuff works. All you have to do is pick projects that are available. These apps use your location services, so you do need to turn those on, and it just finds things near you. You can pick and choose however many projects you want and work whenever you want because this is all dependent on your schedule because you work for yourself. These projects pay anywhere from five to 25 bucks a piece on average. Obviously, you saw one that was $3. That's kind of the lower end. Um, but it took a minute and a half. Correct. And, uh, they can take as few as 30 seconds. You saw how quick that one was. The mid-size audits that, pays, that pay higher can take upwards of 20 or 30 minutes in some cases. But um, Those pay a lot. by and large, yes. I'm not seeing the juice. We're looking for juice? Yeah. You're, you're, we're not Shelf even close stable. to juice. Shelf stable? It's going to be that way. Why? That's all... Those it's are... it's going to be that way. Honey. Okay. I want you to look and see what's over there. Those are all cold things. Okay. Then we're not even near drinks, which is what I'm saying. You're just like, they don't have juice. That's like saying they don't have drinks, and that's just not true. We're in the wrong spot. I understand what you're saying, but it's not back there because those are all the cold things, and I need to shelf it. Okay, well, this is personal care. So we're just going to look for juice and water, I think it said, right? Yeah. yeah. So you don't need to be a retail expert or, you know, a former manager or any type of specialized training experience. If you have reading comprehension skills, you're going to be just fine. These apps yeah. will always tell you specifically what they need done. And um, you can always refer back. There's no memorization required. However, the more you do, the easier it gets. The more second nature you start to become. You can kind of just skim over the basic instructions and just pay attention to, like, the bold text and the specific directions they're giving. <clears throat> Usually the food is not up like that. Ours is straight. Is that down juice in here? No, Next aisle? I see it. We got juice over here. Juice. All right. But like we were saying, on ours, one side is yeah. food, one side is like other yep. items. Which, you know, no two stores are exactly the same. So it just takes a little bit of perusing, doing a couple laps here and there. All right, so we got shelf stable juice. What do we got? Who wants photos of what? Each pallet? Of just juice boxes? Yep. Okay, so um, because we're in BJ's and it's a um, warehouse setting, uh, the four foot sections that it asks her to take is roughly gonna be the width of a pallet. So you really just have to go pallet, pallet, pallet. Each one of these pallets take a photo. That's really all you have to do. Um, if this wasn't a BJ's, roughly Any speaking, four displays. foot sections. So just th imagine the width of a pallet. Any displays. Any displays of shelf stable juice. Right. 
So we're just going to check the front part, make sure that there's no other um, no. juice on one of these end caps. Or the front part, make sure that there's no other um, no. juice on one of these end caps. Or the front part, make sure that there's no other um, no. juice on one of these end caps or it didn't have its Water. own stand-up display. Water. Water is over there. Next aisle. Yep. So the first project we did was on Moby. This project is on Field Agent. And you can use them all together. We'll explain any questions that you guys, or answer any questions that you guys have. Same thing with the water right here. So we're just pointing and clicking, entering information as it asks. And uh, this is stuff that you can do if you have a phone. It's really the only requirement. That you can read. Yeah. So we're not on the clock right now. This is not something you must do hourly. There are some hourly paid positions that are like one-off shifts that you can do, but this is all by the project, which just means the more you can do in an hour, do hourly. There are some hourly paid positions that are like one-off shifts that you can do, but this is all by the project, which just means the more you can do in an hour, the more money you're gonna make. It's not a performance-based uh, payment structure or anything like that, but just generally speaking, it's pretty easy to do and uh, you can make a lot of money. There's no... There's no. Last question, any freestanding display? Okay. So that was it. It didn't ask for any of the seltzer. Sometimes it does, it depends on the project. So we didn't need to include any of that. It was just water. I'm taking a picture of cookies. Cookies? That's your freestanding display you're gonna take a photo of? Cool. That's it. If I have any issues or questions, comments, or concerns, I can put it there. That's mm -hmm. it, complete. You made money. Yep, thanks. So she used my phone. So whenever we complete a project like this, like the Moby project or this field agent, we just upload. Uh, we try to upload on the spot when we can. You don't always have service, so you can, you can move off site if you need to. But uh, when you upload these, they're just subject to approval. Um, they just wanna make sure that we did it right. Thousands of these get done in a day. We usually give them up to six days to approve the projects. But if you keep doing these, if you keep chewing out a few a day, you're just gonna have a constant stream of cash that's gonna hit your account. And uh, you can cash out at any time. Um, once we have available funds, Survey Merchandiser and Field Agent both pay out direct deposits, so it goes right to your bank account. Moby's the only one that's a little wonky because they pay in gift cards through your email. What you got? Okay. All right. So sometimes you might need a printer. Some in some projects, mostly survey merchandiser. Survey merchandiser may have you print one to two sheets of paper for a specific project. They may have you print your letter of authorization, which is just your corporate clearance to get in there. Um, if question, if a merchant, or sorry, if a manager has questions as to who you are and what you're doing there. Um, there might also be some promotional marketing material that you could leave with the store, maybe some reorder information uh, or something like that. But it's not always required for what we do. All right. So now we're going to get off the Wi-Fi and I'll show you what the apps look like. And we'll continue to answer questions about like logistics, doing these day to day, tax, Wi-Fi. And I'll show you what the apps look like. And we'll continue to answer questions about like logistics, doing these day to day, taxes, anything you guys want to know. Yes, lots of spooky ones coming Friday. Yep. And honestly, no two days are exactly the same. We basically just go where the work is. Um, so, you know, we're, we don't mind traveling. Uh, traveling is not required for what we do, but it's only going to open up opportunities for you. Correct. Hello, everybody. Yeah, yeah so it's effort. Exactly. And that's uh, Tommy or Tommy. Uh, it's... It can sometimes be slightly annoying that uh, one or two of the apps that we talk about uh, pay in gift cards, but it spends exactly the same yep. as regular cash. So <clears throat> it's just about, you know, partitioning what you're earning in the right spots. Exactly. Ow, my eyebrow just... Yep, for sure. Uh, you know that we could show them after Barnes & Noble. I, I guess. Well, I'm just saying in general. Do you guys, uh, not, not for that, do you guys want to see AJ show you how to grab these jobs in the app itself? Yep, that's another way around it too. You can do PayPal as well. Yes. Absolutely, you can. Um, not every one of our cashback or our working apps offer um, PayPal gift cards or Visa gift cards, but some of them do. 
Um, but yeah. So, I'll show you what we're working with here. Oh, so that project uploaded and now I'm done. So I'm gonna show you like what from, from the beginning, from the hub. So if you guys wanna use any of the apps that we talk about, they're all available right here in the profile. Just click that link or go to joannalinofficial.com. It's all the same stuff. So if you're interested in working, the first thing that we, if you wanna just get out there and do something and start earning, merchandising is where it's gonna be at. So we showed you guys Moby and Field Agent. Field Agent, you do not need a referral code. It's embedded in the link. Moby, you can use code P3VG. That'll get you three bucks on us when you download the Moby app and complete your first mission like we just did. And of course, I'm gonna show you all of these, including survey merchandiser. Um, the gaming and the surveys, you guys can use these apps anytime that you have a phone that has, you know, that's not super duper old and has internet. Just ways that you can earn some small uh, payouts by using apps and services and getting paid out, usually through PayPal or gift cards or something like that. Even if you're not looking for a full side hustle, saving money on the everyday things that we buy, whether it's gas, groceries, restaurant purchases, shopping online, save money doing those. We have a couple of financial apps too if you want some suggestions. You don't need to use everything here. We just cast a wide net. There is something for everyone. So grab some, go back to the profile, watch the pin videos and the side hustle playlist. Oops. <laughs> and then uh, come say hi because we go live just like this to answer questions. So this is the only app that we didn't demo. This is Survey Merchandiser. So you can create accounts just like this and start working pretty much today if you want to, if you have time. Remember, this is independent contract work. So you are your own business. You work for yourself. If you already have a full-time job or you stay home full-time with the kids or whatever, this is not something that's gonna tie you to a territory, to a desk and demand 40 to 60 hours you don't have. So it gives you a great amount of flexibility every single day. But you're gonna see that there's some stores that you probably recognize. Stop and Shop, 7-Eleven, Dollar General, Walmart, CVS, Price Chopper, Shaw's, uh, Shop right. I don't know if I said that one already. Market 32. Uh, we're in Massachusetts right now. So what you may be in your area just might be different. Let's see. And we let's just preview what's going on in this Dollar General store. Okay. So this is a, this is a bigger project. This is a shipment required. Uh, we do work with a whole bunch of different products. It's mostly food and beverage, but we do work that one as well. Um, because that's a regulated good. I don't want to, ch uh, Press my luck on the TikTok terms of service. Circle K, look at that. Heart Seltzer Cocktail Photo Product Audit. That's uh, adult beverages. Um, plenty of things that we audit here. Let's see what's going on in Target. Okay, baby diapers, head and shelf point to sell uh, placement installation. So this is a $20 project. You will just straight up get 20, uh, 20 bucks for this project. This is a shipment required, so they are gonna mail you um, materials that you will need to complete your project. So we click this, preview it, and it says you'll receive some shelf strips, shelf blades, and the header to place in the indicated baby diaper section of the store. According to the instructions, this visit re might require you to push the Christmas tree screws to adjust the header on the shelf. So roughly 30 minutes of work, but for 20 bucks, not freaking bad. And you can get this down once you're more experienced. There's a letter of authorization if we need it. Um, you have the materials in hand. Again, those are a FedEx to you within a couple of business days. Check in with the manager. Tell them that you're there on the st in the store on behalf of Pampers. You're gonna be checking on the Pampers diapers, Pampers 360, the big green box, specifically swaddlers and cruisers. And what you're gonna do is go to that section and you're going to uh, t uh, assess the spot, take photos of everything that they have, try to get the entire eight foot section as a single photo. If it's not possible, uh, show them top to bottom. Now you're going to place the header. So this is all promotional marketing. So like the shelf strips that go on that, um, you know, indicate prices. Sometimes there's little hang tags that come off of there. Sometimes there's shelf talkers where, um, they'll have like the little signs on there. So it's just to draw attention to the product and it gives you instructions on how to do this. This is just the abstract of the project. Um, step back and take a photo of the bottom of, uh, have you, after you have it all set up, then you're going to set up the shelf blade and then there's the, um, Shelf strips, if you need to put those on there as well. Uh, and then if, if there's any materials that you didn't uh, use, you leave them with the manager in case something needs to be repaired in the future. But this is a really simple project. You just go in there and take care of the uh, the, the signage and the price tags and everything that's uh, for the for the diapers. Merchandise everything to make sure it looks nice and neat. Comments, questions, and concerns, 20 bucks. 20 bucks to go put some some pieces of paper on the shelf. Um, and you can do as many of these as you want. And because it pays you by the job, if that project takes you 10 minutes instead of 30 minutes, you're still gonna make $20. So 
it gives you a lot of availability to stack jobs and uh, chew out a lot of different work and make a lot of money doing so. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can search for projects with all of these apps. This one is again, survey merchandiser. You can search by project, you can search by store, and you can search to see if there's any available routes. I'll touch on those again later. But of course, this is just the list view. You can also use the map view, and this is a great way to stay organized. So you can see what comes uh, in your area or what is the most cost-effective uh, route to take from store to store. So this is our home state. We live in Connecticut. We're up in Massachusetts for the rest of the holiday weekend, and then we will be on the road. But this is what our homestay looks like. Each one of these bubbles is a job and I can just click any one at random and go work it. Oh, I want to work here. Oh, I want to work here. Let's just keep clicking. Now oh, there's a bunch of tobacco audits. That's why. That's why there's so many. <laughs> a bunch of those just dropped in our area. Oh, there's, there's signage and yep. There's a whole bunch of work to do up here. Yeah, there's a ton. They're all the same. Okay. There's the hard seltzer one. Wow. Look, that's in our state. Ooh. There's for some reason, this is the first time ever. We've never seen one of the adult beverage audits in our state. That's freaking crazy. Anyway, you can search anywhere in the country. We are going to be in the coming weeks down in Georgia, down in Alabama, and probably through Mississippi into Louisiana. So we will be working in other parts of the country. So if you're somebody that moves around a lot or travels a lot for business or vacation, you're able to work in other parts of the state just with a little bit of forethought and you can reserve things ahead of time. So that's how serving merchandiser works. The two that we showed you guys inside BJ's are field agent and... All right, so uh, field agent and Moby. So here's the category list of all the different types of project that field agent carries. And of course, there's the list view and you can use the map view as well. Each of those pins is a job that you can take. And of course, there's also Moby. So the only difference with Moby is that you can't reserve these ones ahead of time. They are first come, first serve. Other than that, the structure of the job is exactly the same. Pop in, take photos, enter information, get paid. It's really easy stuff. And we encourage you guys to use all three of those at the same time because, number one, you're allowed to. And because, number two, if you can juggle multiple apps, you'll be able to do multiple projects inside of the same store in many cases, which just means you're going to be making more money on average for every time you drive to the store. So was, how do you guys like those explanations where AJ actually shows you how to get them, the best way to do them and all that? Is that helpful to see? Is that a good visual? Yeah. <clears throat> so the vast majority of followers already have a full-time job or you also do extra gig work, or maybe you have your own business, maybe you're full-time stay at home with the kids, maybe you're partially or fully retired, maybe you're college, maybe military, you can be on state assistance. Um, anybody can do the, use the apps that we use to your flexibility, to your availability, to your schedule. All the apps are actually listed directly in my profile, Blake. Mm -hmm. It was um, joannalinofficial.com. They are categorized by what they are and their names and any codes that are associated with them. So all of that is right there. Awesome. So, um, so I was just talking about the merchandising apps. Those are in a specific category when you click the link in the bio. What's up? My neck is just hurting. Um, so what I was thinking is uh, to show you guys cash back inside of uh, Barnes & Noble because uh, I believe that's on there. I'm going to double check. But AJ wants to look for a book, so I'll take you guys with me while I go look for books because I don't need as much uh, concentration. Oh, I definitely do. Yeah, AJ <laughs> definitely needs, to needs his time. Book. But if you guys want to go look around at the books with me and I'll show you guys yeah. how to get cash back on all of your holiday purchases and all of your regular purchases, how do you guys feel about that? Do you want to see yeah. how you can get cash back on your every regular purchases and all of your Christmas purchases? Yeah. And again, we want you guys to come back. We want you to ask questions. We don't have a book. We don't have a course. None of this costs anything. I know it's nuts, but like... That's why we don't mind you guys coming back and we'll repeat ourselves a hundred thousand times because these apps have helped us in really terrible situations and it's just become an everyday part of our lives. Right. This is just things that we go out and do. Yes. So we're going to, um, we're going to, it's right around the corner. It's right over there. I know. I'm going to cover up the, uh, the camera because TikTok doesn't like when we are in the mobile movement area movement i don't area. want to say certain words yeah. um so i'm going to cover it up but i want you guys let's see how many likes we can get before we get over to barnes and noble we're going to talk i'm going to answer questions i'm going to show you how to use the cashback app so let's do this uh, user uh, it's uh 1099 for taxes so there's a lot of different ways that you can prepare yourself if you just want to go to irs.gov they, they'll be able to prime you you know with like different ways that you can write things off like different expenses as an independent contractor but if you filed a 1099 before you're pretty much going to know what to do yeah flus is one of the only ones you can get cash back for amazon that's correct all right so i'm going to cover this up let's try to keep everybody in here so like 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 
Share, 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 share. Everybody comment, comment something that you're excited to learn about. Comment something that you're excited to learn about. Let's comment and talk and chat. We're gonna go right down over here. We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. We're gonna show you guys how to use cashback. I don't need as much concentration to look for books because I am a book aficionado. I am not. AJ is just I starting am new to, to getting books. he's getting he's new to the books and the reading and all of the things, and I'm super excited for I him. He just learned how to read. He just learned how to read. No, he's just he's getting into reading it for himself, and which I think is fantastic. I think reading is an amazing thing that everybody should do if they can. Excited about cashback? Yes, absolutely. You need to use the cash back. Need is it to on use there? the cash back. What? Is it on there? Flues? Yeah. Yes. I've never used it there. That's why I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Let me just double check. I'm almost positive it is. Okay. All right. I got to cover this up. All right. So we are going right over. We're going right over. Cool, cool, cool. Keep those likes coming. How many likes can AJ get for getting us to Barnes & Noble? I'm excited to learn all about to be jobless. So, oh, yes. Roxanne, you got this. Honestly, this will be the most freeing thing in your life. If you can get this started right away, you will be free to do whatever you want, whenever you want work when you want take the days off when you need to it is so liberating oh they're safe sweet ash i'm so happy yes her grandparents are safe good, good, good. thank god thank god i'm i'm so happy that really does make me happy so i'm gonna double check all right <coughs> b a r sweet ash i don't want to be nosy but how's your aunt doing yep barnes and nobles there six percent cash back on books I am here for this. Look at her response. Who? Sweet Ash. Sweet Ash. You're here for the cash back. Let's do this. Guys, holidays are coming. We need to get all the cash back. We need to get all the cash back. And you can cash this out to gift cards. You can cash this out to buy more gift cards on the app. You can cash this out to your bank account. Super cool. Disney, I think Disney survived the storm. Yeah, I don't think it was as bad in Orlando as they were Most expecting likely. it to be. Yeah. All right, you ready? All right, I'm already telling you this phone is hot. I know. So if we start getting choppy or laggy, you know, we may need to wind the live down. I also don't know if we're going to have service in Barnes & Noble. It has all full bars right now. We'll see. All right. And so I again, if it's, if it's bad, I'll come back out. Why what are do you, you need? Look, remember, I'm going to take the phone. So you oh, can look, right, right, right. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, G. Thank you. Yep. All right. So we're going to go inside of Barnes & Noble, and we're going to check on the books. I'm going to buy a couple, because AJ's like, do you want to go buy a book today? I'm like, I cannot buy one book. I need to buy several books and he's like okay i want to buy a book and i said that's fine i'm gonna buy several i'm gonna buy several yes retired teacher absolutely needs to learn this they have a starbs in here yes and there's a starbs right there yes. that's very weird and there's a starbs 32. all right looks like we're doing good so far hey could you guys comment real quick i don't know if everybody because i'm there we go Average make a day is going to depend on who you are, where you are, how much you put into it, how quickly you learn. How quickly you learn. The world's worst serial killers. Oh, that's a good book. Hi, honey. How are you? Literally, their person's name is Honey. Perfect. Awesome. We're at twenty-seven thousand likes. We are inside of Barnes and Noble. What do I need to? What do I need to get, guys? Well, I know there's one book I have to get. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to somebody on. No, I'm, I'm talking. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. So I got, I got, where are they? Hold on, I got to find them. It's your granny's name. Oh, that is cute. It's my granny name. Got it. That's even cuter. All right, so I found these books the other day, and I need to get the last in the collection. So let's see if I can find it. Any books I need to read? The names of the apps, um, Blake, DR equals Blake, are all in my profile in the link, joannalinofficial.com. All of them are there. Oh, I found them. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the ones I already have. Okay. All right, flip camera. So I've got one of these. I don't have, I think I got that one. I don't know which one I bought now. Cause there was three and I bought two. Those might be the two I bought too. Dang it, dang it. That's all right. So we've got um, different gods and heroes, myths and legends. A book I'm finding out if you're a witch. Actually, we could go look into the occult stuff. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. 
I haven't had time to read in ages, but I love Nicholas Sparks. Me too. I have tons of Nicholas Sparks books. I, I read everything from serial killers to romance. So like, meh. young adult. I am not a young adult. I am 42. I am 42. We're looking for like religion and witchcraft and that type of thing. Yeah, Barnes and Noble is definitely still a thing. I actually have books a million near me. What is this? Has anybody seen this? This apparently is exclusive to Barnes and Noble. Has anybody seen this? Has anybody seen this? It's called Curious Tides. Let me know if any of my book friends, I'll show you guys. Has anybody seen this book? Young adult books can be a good read. You're absolutely right. Who am I kidding? I have a ton of them. Like, let me, let me not be a liar. So I just started this series. So far, so good. This one is so far so good. I've got this one. And there's a couple more of them I've got to get. Yeah, but that one's only at Barnes & Noble. So I'm looking for stuff to buy so that we can get cash back. Fourth wing. What, guys, what do I need to read right now? I read a little bit of everything. Except for manga. I don't read manga. Biographies, social sciences... Oh, I do ebooks and audiobooks, absolutely. Personal growth, self transformation, beer and wine, arts and home, health and wellness, medicine, Christ up oh, self transformation. Here we go. All right. Hecate's modern witchcraft. Ooh. That's what I think. Am I in the witchcraft section, honey? Yes, I am. For those who don't know, I'm a Christian witch. I believe in all of it. I am, uh, you know, that's who I am as a person. If you don't like that, that's okay. Chloe Walsh is what genre? I don't know. I don't know what genre that is. Was that the one I just showed you? I th if so, I think it's like fiction, romance, crap. So let's see, do I need a witchy book? We've got philosophy, psychology. I also have a ton of psychology books. My, For those who don't know, I have a degree in psychology. I do have a degree in psychology. How to read tea leaves. I don't, I don't want to read tea leaves. I do tarot. That's enough. The Encyclopedia of 5,000s. Holy shit. Look at this book. 5,000 spells. Anything from John Grisham. I agree. I agree with that. The Witch's Almanac. What's that? What's this? This is interesting. Interesting. There is, did you see that book of spells? It's huge. It's huge. I don't practice Wicca. I am just a, just a typical witch. The Encyclopedia of Spirits, the ultimate guide to the magic of fairies, genies, demons, ghosts, gods, and goddesses. You should read the spell shop, really? Guys, look at this book. This is all about demons and goddesses no fairies genies demons ghosts and goddesses all right this is really hard to do when you're on when you're on here i think i need this book 37 bucks we're gonna get this book <clears throat> this looks like an interesting read what else we got i don't anything in religion i know all i need to know about religion yeah got everything Fairies, demons, ghosts, gods, goddesses, everything. Uh, sweet Ash, me too. Me too. TikTok is hating me for real too. For real. Babe, you're going to laugh when you see the book I picked. Let's see. Why Men Love Bitches. That's a, the that's a name of a book. That's the name of a book. I'm not even kidding. This is personal growth. Why, women, why Men Love Bitches. I'm intrigued also. I'll let you guys know how this book is. Codependent no more. I am not codependent. Nope. I don't, I don't need the self-help personal growth crap. Nope. Field agent doesn't have much for me around the Chicago land. Costco has the most. It's Costco definitely has the most. Do all the ticket jobs because that's going to make sure that it gives you all the jobs that are related to what you know and things that you can do. The more ticket jobs you do, the more that's going to become available. I think I'm going to buy the book that's exclusive to here because I think I'll be mad if I don't. What's the fourth wing? Sexy and sizzling. Prepare to be fully spellbound by this epic fantasy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, I didn't drop the book. 
I didn't do it. Guys, I'm the best person on live. No problem. No, dragon riders, that's not really my thing. I did try and send you a message to let you know. Oh, my, I know, my messages are all... Sweet Ash TikTok hates me too, I'm telling you. Powerless. The dagger and the flame. Which site did you subscribe to? The only thing you can subscribe to is here or Discord. Screw it, we're getting it. We're getting it. I told AJ I'm buying three books. You guys got a close up of my face. There's a book called The History of Death. Graveyard Shift, a rad, crisp, crispy read. Oh, their monthly pick. I always like to go with their monthly picks. They're kind of fun. No, I don't think I want to do that one. If we were villains. Ooh, that sounds more like me. Reset my life goal. I can do that. Thank you, guys. What? Oh, we need this one. Oh, my God. I have to do this one. Brat. Please send me all the brats. Remember, guys, I send them back to you guys. They have brats now that people can send. What? It's called brats. What does that mean? Look at that's the type of goal it is. Oh, that's you, babe. Yep. Look at so this is look at look at this encyclopedia. Uh, it's a encyclopedia in, indeed. Beautiful. What do you think of it? Beautiful. Magical fairy. Oh my god! Is it the the TikTok I showed you this morning? Yeah. Fairy fucking. <laughs> and then this is a exclusive to Barnes and Noble, so I'm gonna get that one. And I need one more book because I said I'm getting three. Are you, if you're done looking, can you hold this? I can and will. Oh, okay. Oh, we hope that's small. My wife is. I don't know you guys personally enough to know that, but by your own admission, maybe. You need what? <sighs> but, yeah, so I'm sure Joanna primed you. If not, I'll prime you for the, the floozing. So it's a cashback app that you use as a uh, payment method. So the only thing you have to do ahead of time is link a credit or debit card, or you can put a bank account or use Apple Pay or something like that. But it will get you percentage cash back for every dollar that you spend at a participating store just by generating digital gift cards and paying for your purchase with them. So it's like, sorry, it's like one extra step. So like, instead of just swiping your card, it would be like you went to the registered and bought a gift card and then just use that gift card for your purchase. Um, and it gives you anywhere, I think, so it's like anywhere from like two or 3% all the way up to like nine and 10. It can be higher in some cases too. I'll let her know, sweet Ash, thank you. That she texted you. Yeah. Um, did you show them it, it at all or no? Not yet. Okay. But show them, show them how I well, hang out at a bookstore. Sitting on the floor like a little girl. Oh, American girl. Oh, thank goodness. I love those things. <laughs> New England nightmares. Oh, good Lord. I mean, she'll eventually read all these. She absolutely will. It's vampires. just, it takes a while. History of vampires in New England. All right, so let me show you what the, uh, can you use chime with flues? I, I don't believe. No, if it has a routing number and, um. It just may not link. Number. Yes, it does. I know somebody else did it. Oh, okay, because I've never used Chime. Well, not for that, anyway. I've used Chime before. But it, it tells you all the different ways that you can use it. So I'll show you what the Flues app looks like. So this is how it looks. Not yet, it's not loaded, but this is what it's going to look like. <laughs> there we go. All right, so it shows you a whole bunch of different apps that you can get cash back on. This isn't the full list. All you have to do is go to Discover, the Discover tab, and search for the retailer that you're going to be shopping in. Barnes... And Noble, look at that right there. That's where we are. Additional 6% cash back. So like I said, all you need to do is put a funding source on here because you are going to buy a digital gift card on the spot and pay for your purchase with that gift card. So once we know that Barnes & Noble works, uh, we can just put, the, put this app down until we get to the register. So um, 
this cashback is in addition to any other cashback that you might get. So if you have uh, valid coupons, if you have things that are on sale, if there's in-store rewards that you could have earned with that particular establishment, it all works and stacks. This is just another layer of savings that you could put on top. So when we get to the register, you'll see that this is, you'll see this done live. We can enter a digital gift card amount for the exact amount of our purchase and we can, um, get cash back on it. So you can use Apple Pay. Just know that things like Apple Pay will always give you less percent cash back than the other ones. We recommend just a regular um, credit debit card, something like that. You can also use a bank account. So 5% cash back right there. So this gift card can be anywhere from $10 to $500. So let's just see uh, Joanna was possessed by the vampires of New England and forced her to buy like 60 books and she ended up spending... Let's go $251.83. That's an additional $12.59 that we would be leaving on the table if we didn't use the Flues app. So again, it's not always a super crazy amount, but that's a pretty, like, that's $12. $12 for me is $12 for you. That's pretty good. And um, you can use other stuff with it. <clears throat> of course, this is also for the exact amount. You don't need to generate the exact amounts. If you'd rather just overshoot, you know, with regular denominations, you can do that too in most cases. But you'll see when we get to the register, <laughs> when we get to the register, we will uh, make our purchase. Where are you going? Yeah, so if you want to use this app, um, you can use code Joanna official and that will get you five bucks when you complete your new person profile and you will get two 25% cash back vouchers that you can use on the first $10 of your purchase, which is just, you know, a little bit of boost of cash back from time to time. Berkshire Books. Oh, there's a bunch of Berkshire ones. Look at, look at, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so it works at a lot of different places. So we happen to be in Barnes and Noble. This is our real life practical example but it works in a lot of other places too not just um stuff so let's see what's going on with the groceries uh, i know the groceries have their own section here so you can click grocery if your stores participate so things like out what's going on with the groceries uh, i know the groceries have their own section here so you can click grocery if your stores participate so things like albertson's bakers cars city market uh, we've got foods company fries food and drug gerbs i don't know how to say how half of these uh we don't have giant eagle near us but you can get them there you can get instacarted gift card uh groceries get 15 percent right now um kroger things like that right, do you have your book yes give me your book there you go so all we have to do is go to the register and get our total Mm. Fantastic. No laughing at all my books. Mm -hmm. I might laugh. Just wanted to double do it, huh? Yep. Well, they, they see you coming and they're like, dude, this lady, there's no way. This must be a mistake. She did not come here with like less than 12 books. <laughs> So she's just going to put in her information. So again, that's the cool thing about the, the flus is that it doesn't preclude you from using the other um, ways that you can save money on the purchases you're already making. So cash back, coupons, discounts, all of that stuff. If things are on sale, there are no exclusions. This is just straight off the top price of whatever you have. <clears throat> yeah, the Instacart one is dope. Yes. And I, I got to tell you something like just because like truthfully jo joanna and i we we run a business we're very busy we also do the regular side hustle stuff all day long pretty much wherever where we are and we travel a lot it has been a bitter pill to swallow to admit that i just physically don't have enough time to do the same things that i've always done every day and that's just something that i had to learn personally that like it's not for a lack of like being lazy it's just i don't have time so the fact that i can get cash back on you know grocery purchases and stuff like that is crazy is absolutely crazy to me and it makes me feel not so bad about having somebody else do my grocery shopping for me flus does not work in canada i don't believe so what are we working with here 136 132 21 back yep so 136.92 and we cook this gift card on the spot and then we pay for our purchase 
So once it generates, we'll be able to scan it and pay for our purchase. Good job. So they scan and then they enter the access code or the pin, whatever they give us, and we'll pay for our purchase with it. And I'll show you the receipt. So what was that total again? 136.92. I know, that's okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, so let me see that. You got the receipt? No, your phone. Oh, my phone. Oh, I'll need that too, but... All right. So, 136.92. Uh, this gift card is zeroed out. Go ahead and try to steal it, but it's already been used. <laughs> it's already been used. So, uh, that was an additional $8 and something cents cash back, yeah, whatever. It should be at the bottom. Oh, yeah, you're right. $8.21 right there. So then... You can also look on the receipt, receipt it, and take your phone back. You can see, this is the Barnes and Nobles receipt. So full total after tax was again, 136.92. You can see it right there. And then it says electronic gift card, balance left zero because we paid for a gift card for the exact amount of our purchase. So that gift card is zeroed out. We don't need to worry about it anymore. So that's how flus works. And once you understand the concept of getting it to work consistently, there's no limit to how much money you can save on the things that you have to buy. It doesn't have to be books. It can be groceries. It can be clothes. It, it can be, be holiday presents. Yes. If you travel a lot for business or vacation, you can use oh. it on um, accommodations, things like train tickets, plane tickets, Fetch. hotel stays. Um, you can use it on, um, you know, basically anything for the holidays. If you've got birthdays, holidays, and anything like that that you need to spend up on, you're going to spend the money anyway. Save Thank the money. You guys. Uh, remember also to upload your receipts to Fetch, Pogo, and the like. That's correct. That's what Joanne is doing right now. So anytime you generate a receipt, make sure you upload them to the receipt apps. We have three of them here. We have Receipt Jar, we have Flues, and we have Pogo. You can use them all, all with the same receipts. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. So uh, flus uh, varies. The cashback varies on the retailer that you're shopping in. That was six percent cashback. That was six percent off the entire purchase, not just off you know select items, whatever. So that purchase was an additional eight dollars and twenty one cents. So not bad. Yeah. All right, I think we're good for today. I think I'm we showed them a little bit of here. I can turn this I'm down. I'm hot is what I am. Can I turn that down. All right, so watch the videos, download the apps, write down your questions. We'll be back later on tonight with another live. I'm not sure if it'll be at home or if we'll be out working, but it'll be something. So we will see you guys later on. We love you all and have a great rest of your day. Bye.